stalwart sons of Uncle Sam, nearly 5,000 strong, celebrate the 50th annual football fiesta between the Army and the Navy, and all America comes to Philadelphia to watch the game. And the arrival of the mascots is quite an event. The Army wins the toss, and the Municipal Stadium rocks with the cheers of 100,000 fans as the game gets underway. There's not an inch on the ground to spare, but that sort of congestion certainly doesn't affect their lungs. It's the Army's ball, and the pigskin rockets down deep, but not for long. The future admirals drop on it with the weight of depth charges, and so far there's nothing in the bag. To see how things are going, take a look at the Navy. Are they downhearted? And what about the Army? Well, it only goes to show. Now it's the Navy's ball, and with a fine dash, the leather gets through to the two-yard line. Again, the ball snapped up, and this time it goes over for a touchdown. The Navy leads 7-0. Watch how the Navy signals its approval. The half comes, but the Army is still pointless. Meanwhile, a cross-country event is in progress. Watch how the Navy signals its approval. The Navy's final assault sees one of their men streaking down the side in as grand a dash as you'd find anywhere. It rather looks as though the Army... Yes, we thought so. The light rays make a great show, but now it's too late. They're sunk by the Navy, 14 to nothing. And now, to divulge the contents of this year's most important envelope is a very important contributor to world entertainment. And someone, quite likely... The uh, the great one, the uh, the streaker behind David Niven. Streaking down the side in as grand a dash as you'd find anywhere. <laughs> streaking down the side in as grand a dash as you'd find anywhere. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that um, that was almost bound to happen. <laughs> but isn't it fascinating that <laughs> fascinating to think that the probably the only laugh that man will ever get in his life is by stripping off and showing his shortcomings. So another game ends with a well-deserved naval victory. The fleet was much too fleet. And someone, quite likely,